What's up, everybody? It's your boy Meepo, and I'm here. Before we get on with the video, guys, I just want to say this is just a theory. I might say that a couple times in the video, uh, but yeah, this is just a theory on Himawari, Uzumaki, what I think Kuro would be in the future if this actually were to happen, I'd scream. But anyways, let's get on with the intro and the video. Uh, bye. With a theory for Himawari Uzumaki's potential role in the board's series. Now, Himawari being Naruto's daughter, right? You would think she would at least be focused on a bit. Well, actually, she's not been focused on as much as we thought we would be, or as I, I thought she would be. The only time she was used to be somewhat important was that one episode where she helped out Inogen awaken the Super Beast Girl. <clears throat> So today I'm going to be talking about the theory that I came up with for Himawari Uzumaki role for the present and future for the Boruto manga and anime. Well, let's get started. If they really want to make Hima an important character in the Boruto series, they would either have to make an arc about her called Himawari Arc, I guess, or a very memorable arc that she is involved in. The central arc that I came up with was she would either have to be involved in the Kara arc or an arc that has the Kara involved. The Kara would also have to include Hinata in it and she would have to do something that would make the whole arc in itself emotional and memorable. Now, the arc would have to be Himawari being kidnapped by the Kara and by any chance if you don't know who the Kara are, they are the mysterious organization recently introduced in the board to manga who have characters like Kashin Goji, Amano, Jigen the Leader, Delta, and Kawaki. Now, how do we get to the step of how Himawari gets kidnapped? Well, I think it's simple. It starts off with Himawari not being <clears throat> able to decide how she's going to choose her career path. Not sure of what she wants to become when she grows up and she wants to explore different options so she goes along with Borto on one of his ninja missions that wouldn't seem too dangerous for her to tag along on. So as they make their departure from the Hidden Leaf Village, their destination somewhere in the forest, there is the Kara clan or some kind, or some kind of people that work for the Kara. Then they would get ambushed. Well, you ask, how would they get ambushed? Well. They would get in because they're trying to retrieve Kawaki back, or aka the vessel. Because Kawaki is basically the vessel in the manga. And not only that, he currently in the manga is he is recently just being brought to the Hidden Leaf Village. Now, how would this go down? The members of the Kara then spot Team 7 along with Himawari, and they decide to take one of them hostages. Since they recognize the Hokages, Oh my god, English, the Hokage son and daughter seemingly Himawari has no real experience in combat and is still very young and they would and they make their decision to take her instead. They then get ambushed by the Kara and make sure to distract Boruto since he will most likely keep a very high effort of keeping Himawari away from danger. Cause we all know how much he cares about Himawari. So while Boruto is being distracted by some of the members of Kara, there are others that come from behind and take Himawari away. Now, this is where it becomes like serious. Like shit becomes serious, guys. This is where Hinata comes into the arc. Since I think Hinata is basically loved in the Naruto and Boruto community, and she's a very popular character. I, and people have been saying or speculating when is somebody gonna die in the Boruto anime slash manga. Well, I think Hinata would make a perfect choice to die in Boruto. Um, considering the fact she's loved and she's a very popular character and if she did die, I think with good soundtrack involved and good writing, I think it'd make the whole arc memorable, man memorable and I yeah yeah 
Anyway, back to what I was talking about. Hinata would have to sacrifice herself for the sake of her beloved daughter, Himawari, from the Kara clan. Hinata and Himawari being very close, this would make a very sad, emotional, dark moment in Boruto. Hinata would put up a good fight against the Kara, but then she is killed by Jigen, the leader of the Kara, out of nowhere, and then Jigen would most likely say something like this, I'm done playing around, give us the vessel back. A.K.A. Kawaki. Hinata then would be laying in the ground bad, badly wounded. She would be having flashbacks about her past and present. Her final words would be, I'm joining you, Brother Neji. Very slowly, then she would say, I love you, Himawari, Boruto, and Naruto would be her final word. This happened, okay, and not only would this be emotional, guys, the background music in itself would, uh, the background, the side background music, the emotion in it, the, the phenomenal flashbacks, because you know how good Naruto slash Boruto, they are really good at doing those moments with the flashbacks, so if they execute that perfectly, and if they somehow um, listen to this video, I feel like that will be one of the emotional moments in anime and anime's uh top 10 maybe i don't know but I, I was crying when i was typing this theory so keep that in mind <laughs> anyways then after himawari witnessing her own mother die in front of her very own eyes she would unlock an amazing ability it is possible okay since it is possible that himawari might have Hamura Utsutsuki's chakra. If you don't know who Hamura Utsutsuki is, he is Kaguya Utsutsuki's son and twin brother of Hagumuro Utsutsuki. Now, back to the topic of Himawari. In this event, she would have to awaken the Tensagon, which I think she would awaken in that particular moment how Obito awakened the Mangeko Sharingan when he witnessed Rin die in front of his eyes. So, I think she would awaken the Tensega by seeing Hinata die in front of her eyes. Now, when she awakens the Tensega, what what would happen? Well, I try to make try I try to make it uh, very logical and very descriptive for you guys. I said after Himawari gained the Tensega, we would get a sick ass theme song for Himawari, and she becomes badass. Fights off the Kara, and we would be showcasing Himawari's new abilities. Then, after the Kara being basically kind of fatigued. The car retreats and Himawari being she just got her new powers, she would be extremely fatigued and by her new power she would collapse. We would see Boris in the background yelling, Himawari and then he would go to Bo he would go to Him Himawari, right? Borto would go to Himawari. But then he would see Hinata laying down on the ground covered in blood. I think the scene would be very sad, very emotional with uh, a very sad soundtrack, but I think the soundtrack would be wonderful, but I, all in all, I think this would be a very, very emotional moment in Boruto, but we would get a very sad moment, I mean, and while Boruto staring at his dead mother, Hinata, then in the background we see Sarada and Mitsuki coming, and they see Boruto crying and Himawari unconscious. 
Sarada would console um, Borzo, and Mitsuki would make sure if Himawari is okay. And I, oh my God, I, I was when I was writing this, okay, when I was typing this, kind of make me, it made me shed a tear, and it, and I was writing this, which funny, but I, I mean. If this happens, okay, if by all means it happens, hey, just <laughs> Tokyo, give me some credit. <laughs> Anyways, what would happen, like, what would come out of all this? Like, what would, be, what would be the positive out of, like, the whole thing? Well, I was thinking of this. Boruto would have a reason to go dark. Because we, we all know how much he cared about Hinata. And he would have a reason to go after the Kara organization for revenge. But I don't think he specifically go after the Kara for revenge. Because since he's being taught by Sasuke, Sasuke knows a, a thing or two about um, going out for someone for revenge. And Sasuke knowing from experience, I feel like he's going to tell Bored, so don't go after the Kara for revenge if that's how you're going to go after for them. So I think he'd kind of go for revenge, but for something else. Um, in in that in that order, guys. Um, and maybe okay. This is this is another thing that I feel like would happen. Maybe we would see him interacting with Kawaki. You know, nice character interactions between him and Kawaki. And in the process of doing so, they would become really good friends because Kawaki. You know, you know how Kawaki was abused. I feel like he'd kind of know how um, Borto is feeling somewhat. I feel like he, he can connect to Borto in, in, in a way that he could connect. What does this all mean for Hima? What does all this mean for Himawari? Um, well, Himawari, well, this would make her, okay, an important character in Borto, obviously. After like the incredible arc she's like in, and when they very went detail and depth and and on her, I think she'd become a very important character. Plus, she'd become a very broken slash powerful character in Boruto. Now this is where it becomes whole the whole um agenda. Himari would want to become a ninja because she couldn't save Hinata. You know she wasn't powerful enough to save Hinata from the Kara clan. And Himari wouldn't have a, a Himari would have a meaning now on why she wants to become a ninja. Himari would say something like this, okay? I want to become a ninja for my village and mother, you know, and with the back with some good background music playing, you know I feel like that'd be a very good scene and then boom, they ended from there. And that and that's the arc. With some better episodes of more detail than I did barely. But you know what you know what I mean. This was just a theory, guys. It I'll, if this actually happens, I will scream. I will I, I will scream. Um the whole thing kinda seems a bit cruel of like Hinata dying. But I feel I feel like it would be the biggest contribution that Hinata would make for the board to series now like I said in the beginning I feel like Hinata in herself like her being a popular character and loved character I feel like she'd make in itself the arc memorable you know remember Naruto OG and Haku and Haku and Sabuza remember how we still talk about that today we had to kill off some characters, guys, and I feel like Hinata has to be the first one to go. And I, I know Hinata's one of my favorite characters, but I feel like she has to go. Anyways, um, that's been my theory, guys. Um, like I said, keep in mind this was just a theory. If this happens, I will scream. <laughs> Anyways, I hope you enjoyed, and if you're new to the channel and you're into board, so consider subscribing and see you in my next video. Bye, guys.